We are here at the world premiere of the 2025 Toyota 4Runner. We are out here in the desert in San Diego on the Mexico border to show you seven different trim levels. So I've got a lot of notes here. There's a lot that's new with this vehicle. So I wanna make sure to get it right because I know you wanna know. So your trim levels are SR5, TRD Pro, Limited Grade, TRD Off-Road, Trail Hunter, and Platinum. So what's new about this vehicle? There's a lot new about this vehicle. It still has that 9.2 inch ground clearance because this is a true off-road vehicle. This is something that people have been waiting for. So you've got a lot of standard features that come with this vehicle. We'll start off with the front LED headlights. You've got the rigid lights that are here. Now we're looking at a TRD Pro. So this is gonna be the top of the line. Uh, you've got the Toyota logo here. You have cameras that you're gonna need for that off-road because that's all big portion of what these, this is about adventure, tough terrain, using this vehicle for what it's designed for. The thing is you could use it every single day and have a cool looking truck as well. This vehicle is a body on frame design, so it's designed for overlanding. This is something that people are doing. They wanna camp in their vehicles, they wanna take it off road, they wanna enjoy the beautiful environment like this beautiful area that we're in right now. Uh, there are some really cool features that are specific to TRD Pro. The off-road equipment that comes available on the TRD Pro includes ARB shocks, old man emu equipment, and rigid industries. Part-time or full-time 4x4 with a two-speed transfer case. One other really unique feature is this light bar here. And of course, you've got the separate lights here from rigid. And underneath, you've got full skid plates. There are two engines that are available for the SR5, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, and Limited Grades will come standard with the iForce powertrain. That's a turbocharged 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine. It has 278 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque, paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission. Go to those higher trim levels, the TRD Off-Road, the Limited, the Trail Hunter, and the Platinum, and you're gonna get the iForce Max Hybrid powertrain. That is also a 2.4 liter engine, but it's paired with a 48 horsepower electric motor. The two together will bring you 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque. That battery pack is a 1.87 kilowatt hour lithium ion pack, and that creates a total package for giving you the torque and the horsepower you need. Again, an eight-speed automatic transmission. These are 33-inch all-terrain tires. They're really nice. I do like the red logo. That's one of the things about TRD that's pretty cool. Love the black here. Just really makes it a real true truck. You got the running boards. You got TRD embossed in the side. This is really about what it is. Inside, you've got the all-new interior. TRD Pro is literally everywhere. I mean, all that red highlight, whether it be on the steering wheel or on the dash or on the doors or even on the shifter, they really thought about making this making you a part of this car. You know you're driving a TRD Pro. You're not just driving some truck. So this one we're showing you because it's the top of the line. It's got all the goodies and it's pretty solid too. Sounds pretty good. Going into the second row, you can see right here, you've got a lot of stuff that's easy to clean. I think that's a big portion of it. You got charging ports everywhere. That's what people want. JBL Audio, the same thing they have across the full lineup and those seats fold up so you can bring extra cargo with you. Standard is a safety sense 3.0. That means you're gonna get all the safety so when you're on the street, you're gonna feel comfortable. When you're off-road, you can shut that stuff off in the different drive modes so you can really use this vehicle for what it's designed. Across the back, you've got the different taillights. Really like how clean this is. And the wiper blade, it's tucked up under there. That's what I'm always talking about. Tuck it up underneath, and they did. Why? Keeps it clean, doesn't get caught on a tree or a branch. And if you've got ice and snow, you can scrape the back window and not damage it because this piece of glass goes down. And that's one of the neat features. So when it comes to the back here, you're gonna have all of, this is all hybrid powertrain. So what you're looking at is underneath here is gonna be your battery. You've got additional charge outlets here for if you're gonna go tailgating. I live in Buffalo, tailgating's a, a thing that we all do. Optional third row if you want it. Seats fold down, you can put three child safety seats across the middle and you can buy a first aid kit as well. All your cup holders, additional storage for whatever it is you bring, because we all bring junk with us, is really nice. Underneath here, another little place just to hide whatever that might be, a jack, first aid kit, whatever it is that you want to hide. Towing capacity, class three hitch right here, 6,000 pounds, nice little cover, which I think is nice. Little details, details which make a vehicle like this really nice. Just cool, different, stand out in the crowd. In addition to open the glass, this area right here, up and down or lock, that allows you to have that glass go up and down. A nice little feature, 
people aren't doing that anymore and they really thought about let's carry that heritage through and that they've done. You can see behind me some of the other different TRD Pro lineup that they have. They brought it all out here so we can see, hey, TRD Pro is truly about off-road. No matter which vehicle they offer, if you're thinking TRD, you're not just getting a truck or an SUV, you're getting a cool truck. And I think this is pretty cool. And so if you go around to the inside, I wanna show you some of the technology that's new with this car. Seating is two rows, optional third row. Then you've got your power seats here. Uh, standard is an eight inch screen. You can get an optional 14, uh, 14 inch touch screen, which I think is really nice. Let's start this vehicle up. Let's see if they left the keys in it. Then we might take it for a drive, you never know. Red button, TRD. Oh, they took the key, those little rats. See, because they know that journalists will just take off with it. So we'll be driving this soon. We'll get a full review. Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, both are wireless. You got wireless charging here. Tons of charge ports as well that it's here. Uh, USB-C charge ports. Digital key is also available. Uh, and the thing is, when you think about all the different features and what they put in here, much like Tacoma, they've got the four low, four high, the different tow haul modes and drive modes are here. You've got hill descent and crawl mode. You got the ability to connect uh, cameras, whatever you need. And a lot of that's all been put here. Over at the top, we've got a manual glass roof, which is nice. I'll it's pretty hot here in the middle of Chester. This is a bank of some good information here. Everything that you need. I like the fact they made it really intuitive. Obviously gas tank, you got your automatic headlights, traction control, uh, up, open and close the lift gate, but they've got four auxiliary ports here. So you can put a winch on it, you can put lights on it, whatever you want. You get your TRD light bar here. And then of course the light and back if you're camping, you're overlanding, whatever it might be. And again, don't forget that Toyota offers that care, uh, Toyota Care, which is two years, 25,000 miles of basic maintenance that's included. That also includes two years of roadside warranty, three or 36,000 miles. The hybrid package goes to eight years, 150,000 miles for the battery and everything. That's that's pretty impressive. So when Toyota put this together, they had to think about, we need to make sure everyone's happy. We want to make sure that they can pick a performance vehicle like a TRD Pro. They want a limited because you want luxury. Or, or maybe you're thinking, I just want a really cool truck, which makes the SR5, that trim level is like the super popular trim level because you can do everything with it. Um, also, it's important to note, JBL audio system is in this thing, 14 speakers all the way around. So you can have good tunes on and off road. This JBL audio system push this out and you can take this wireless speaker with you. So you can take it tailgating, whatever party, the beach, pretty awesome piece there. That is one of the coolest features I think that it offers. Uh, they did a lot with the red details. I love the red stitching that they put throughout and the grips because you need this when you're getting in and out of the mud. And we almost took it out here on the, in the muddy surface because it was raining here the other day. TRD is here. Center, the centers for the steering wheel. Same thing follows along on the shifter and the TRD here as well. They really thought about everything. I like the fact that there's heated, vented seats. I mean, this is so usable, that's impressive. Okay, going into the second row, these seats are up right now, but you can, they recline, which is good if you got child safety seats. You've also got an armrest here. They fold 60-40, you can get a third row. So it depends how you're sitting. In back, you've got additional two USB-C charge ports, ventilation, and of course, a regular wall outlet, which is good if you're charging a computer or you're bringing something for a tailgating or camping, a cooler, whatever that might be. Everything is like the floor mats and, and the materials they're using is about keeping it clean, easy cleaning, especially if you're off-roading, you're really using this vehicle that way. You wanna make sure to check that out as well. Again, you can go with the more luxury, but the limited would be the way to go in that case. Entering the second row, they have these quick release. Boom, the seat goes up, super quick. Easy to access the third row, put gear back there or people, whatever that might be. Seats fold flat, pretty nice. We have two additional trim levels I wanna give you a closer detailed look at because they're pretty cool. Starting with the Trail Hunter, which is new for this year. Actually, they're carrying that Trail Hunter line. I love this logo. You're gonna see some really cool features on this. It comes only in the iForce Max engine, like we were talking about engines. Love these bronze wheels, 33 inch, all terrain tires. But there's some cool features that are on this that my co-host Al Vasquez always talks about when you're in South America, they drive these things in the water up to here. So what are you gonna do with the air intake for the engine? Well, 
They've already created this, so you can take this thing into deep water on a global basis, so that's pretty cool. I love this color, by the way, too. It's really earthy. Uh, you've got the, the roll bars here, the bars here instead of a running board. This is really functional, and when you take a look underneath, you're gonna see that this has Old Man Emu suspension, where the TRD Pro has Fox suspension, and you can see the skid plate underneath. So they really have done some changes to the suspension. I think that's pretty cool as well. Other details that make this car pretty cool. You're not seeing gloss, you're seeing matte, because you want to clean that up. Coming around to the back, you have the same situation here as you do with the TRD Pro. You've got your iForce Max logo here, you've got your Forerunner logo here, and then when you go inside, same as the other vehicles, you're not seeing any changes either to the back of the Limited, which we're going to show you in a second, or the back of the Trail Hunter. Very functional. Again, you can put a third row in here if you want. This also has an additional uh, set for a, an air pump, a compressor. So if you want to air down when you go on, ro on road, off road, you can do that. You've got tons of places for inverters and things like that. Let's take a look inside. There are some changes on this vehicle that are pretty cool. The second row is the same. There are some really nice color combinations here. They're using gold instead of red, so you're going to see that gold highlight for the Trail Hunter behind the Toyota logo, the gold stitching. You're going to see gold on the doors as well, and that Trail Hunter logo is there just to let everybody know. This is a pretty cool truck. This is a true off-road vehicle. Otherwise, the inside's the same. It does have some additional uh, capabilities for off-road. We'll go into that when we do a deeper dive, but overall, you've got that same on the left, all those controls. You, they've really thought about, let's make this very usable. And that they did by changing some of the features, making it lots of grippy areas for putting things, lots of storage, lots of creative design, two cup holders, wider area for your armrest. And overall, oh, someone left the key in here. We have to start it up. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. So you've got the rear view camera as well. You've got your big 14 inch screen. 12.3 inch center screen, customizable, that also has hill descent, crawl, all of your different information is there, which I think is really important. Let's take a look at the views. You're gonna get your around view like you're seeing on a lot of their other things, but you're also gonna get additional views on the Trail Hunter, because if you're going off-road, let's see if I can get this to, it's not gonna let me do it because it's probably not designed for that. Oh, no, we can't do it. Anyway, we tried, but the idea is, is that everything here is gonna be very comfortable, intuitive, but if this is too much for you, you like it, but you're like, I need something that's more usable. Let me show you the Limited. This is the Limited. It's a little different. This is what they're calling street performance, but really this is your daily driver. You can use it for a truck. You can take it for light off-roading. It is not the Trailheader. It is not a TRD Pro. It does come with the two different engine choices. This is the top of the line luxury. You got your chromed grill. You're down here, you're gonna have a air dam instead. So again, that's a little bit different. You've got lights down here. They're not the rigid lights. You're not getting that light bar, but you are getting everything as far as safety is standard across the full lineup. What this has that you probably don't want on an off-road vehicle is automatic running boards. You open the door, makes it easy to get in. They close when you close the door. Again, these are really great to have when you've got things in your hands or you're helping a child get into their car. Really helpful to have, again, instead of a fixed running board. Inside the vehicle, same thing. 14 inch center screen. You've got your 12.3 inch uh, gauge pod. So again, you're going to have just a regular rear view mirror, JBL audio system throughout the full lineup. You've got controls that are rugged, but they're not the same. You have a tow haul mode. You've got your drive modes here. You get your four low, four high. All this is here. So if you want all wheel drive, you don't want that. You can just drive it around as your daily driver truck. Lots of cool storage. Also, they really thought about who's using this vehicle. A little bit different than that of the Trail Hunter and of the TRD Pro. Cargo space is the same. Let's go to the back and we'll look at that as well as pricing. The 2025 Toyota 4Runner is going to start around $43,000, fully loaded, top of the line, all the goodies, $59,000. And then you can go to your dealer and have them put on all these aftermarket parts that you can put as part of your lease or part of your purchase. There are competitors in this class. We'll be doing a full review of this at an off-road event coming up in the near future. But I wanted to give you a first look because we're getting the first look as the world premiere comes out here in San Diego. More questions, I'm sure you got them. Put them down below. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. Please subscribe. 80% of our people don't subscribe. We love the support and we can get you even better information every single time. More information is down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. Have you ever thought, why in the world is my wireless bill so darn high? 
What are we paying all this money for? Speed, coverage, data, access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, mobile hotspots? We are partnering with Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile offers all of these features for as low as $15 per month. They're reimagining the wireless shopping experience and made it easy and online. No stores, no salespeople, just huge direct to you savings. Why should you pay more when you have access to premium wireless? Mint Mobile runs on the nation's largest 5G network. Whether you use your phone to watch YouTube, listen to podcasts, or play games, you get the same speed and performance as the big guys while connecting to Mint's network. How hard is it to switch your service? Big Wireless wants you to think it's hard, but switching to Mint is super easy. Thanks to digital e-SIM cards, which most phones now have, you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home. And if your phone doesn't have an e-SIM, Mint will ship you a new SIM card for free. Just go to trymintmobile.com slash Lauren Fix, also linked in the description down below, to get premium wireless for $15 a month.